Team Ass was uncomfortable and wouldn't take control of situations. But Kirby did that at first and then changed. Yes. Really, really showed that he was willing to take liberties on CT side. Showed up on Mirage, or sorry, on yeah, on Mirage on the CT side in a lot of ways. And now that we've got Olaf Meister involved, that's mm. a whole another storyline. It looks like he's one of the players holding B this time around. So it is a really kind of rotating circus over on Mirage B site. Genuinely, I you know I just want to look at Face Clan as like there's still there's still a pack of howling alphas, okay? okay? But you've got you've got like the grade weathered wolves in Olaf Meister and Rain. Right. They've been around the block. Cold Zera, he's still got a little he's got a little he's got a little spunk left in him. And now Brokey and Kierby, like you said, kind of more comfortable in taking charge. You know, it's it, it just it fit instantly with Brokey, and that's why he was such a success story. We'll see if, well, this B site can hold. Speaking of Brokey, back by Bench, and he's got Cold Zera trying to work with him. There's also that third player tucked behind the van, and so far, so good for the clan. But Searson and Xanteras, those are two names you have to talk about when it comes to big. And they delivered. At least the trade frag successful, but Kierby still has a chance at this one versus three. He still has the one versus one right in front of him, but he's going to lose that out as Xanteras takes another two for him as big win pistol. So we talk about some win conditions here for Big Clan. It's at least something for FaZe in FaZe's camp they can look forward to is the fact that Tapson has been playing really badly. His, his performance dropping off quite a lot. Um, on the flip side of that, Zentaris's performances have been very good, I'd say. He's dipped down a tiny bit, but we've seen the impact. Sometimes he gets two kills on entries and wins the round. It's crazy to see a player have so much impact. One of the highest impact ratings on HLTV, period, for all-time stats. And for him to do it as an entry fragger on CT side. You know, getting kills, not dying, and allowing the team to win. We're going to see that a number of times here on Mirage. But we're also going to find out why FaZe picked it. An easier map in the pool, something they're comfortable on and have a lot of experience. Maybe don't need as much IGL. -ing. Ooh, hey now. Cold Zera, close smoke. Picking up that MAC-10 nearly costs him, but he does deal enough damage for Broken to clean it up. Olaf, oh, sweet. Two headshots with the D coming in from the B bomb site. Face Clan, they go with that close two-man stack. And I mean, well, you saw it. Big Clan, they kind of eat a smoke grenade. It's supposed to stuff them. They tried to work their way through it. And Cold was having none of that. There. That's what I'm saying. That was a double fist pump. I'm saying Nico was an alpha hound. Okay. okay? He yeah. was definitely hot shit on this roster, yeah. and for good reason. I mean, it's a justified pickup from G2. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I, th I think you take somebody like him out of the formula, and suddenly it does create a little space. Yeah. Why was Brokey so happy just now? Uh, I seriously, I don't think I've ever seen that on a player camp from him. I don't think I have either. Maybe it's just they don't want to get stomped. They want to see where they can do. They're having fun playing Counter-Strike. And they, they're just like, okay, well, let's let's go ahead and find out uh, like how well we're going to gonna play. And they see sees Olaf pop off like that. And no, we've got a tiny bit of a break. Ooh, B-hop combo. Okay. Not exactly sure what happened. We've got uh, one dropped out, hopefully coming back. And... Yeah. So one thing is, I don't know exactly. I don't. I don't know exactly how much has changed, uh, or how much Olaf has done in preparation. Uh, that's that's a question I have because I, I've heard on. I think he said himself. Yeah. I haven't touched the game since I stopped playing for Phase. Exactly. Right. And I think someone posted that he played one, maybe Face It Pug or a scrim. I'm winning. I looked at the stats. He got okay. 16 kills. All right. Yeah, okay. You're really but digging deep here. I want to know everything about Olaf yeah. Meister. Go for it. I was in his DMs. I, right when you're tired, I said, how many retweets for you to unretire? Of course, no. he never responded. You got you to gotta, you gotta go figure out he's still alive. But look, he's willing to do it for none. He's back. He is back. And I think that's, you know, listen, I mean, you could get, there, there's a world of, there's a world of potential stand-ins for a game like this, for, uh -huh. for, for, for an event like this, right? I think it makes sense that you bring in Olaf. Tons of experience. You know what you're getting. I'm gonna go the other way. It doesn't make sense to bring in Olaf. Okay. Okay, we did just see the Deagle round. Let's. I can't take yeah. that away from you or anyone else. I can't take that smile off Brokey's face. I don't know exactly just what's happening right ahead. before our eyes. Just siphon all the fun out of it. But I mean, I, it's not every hey, day I want. Hey, greatest player ever is making a comeback. <laughs> no, it's a bad decision. <laughs> okay, that's not me. Okay, that's not what I sound like. It's not what I look like. I sound like. Olaf hasn't played the game in so long. This is not a good idea. You know what? It can't be. I'm not Olaf. I don't want to agree with him, but I think he has a point. I think he does too.
Pimp does have a point. I think there's a lot of other players who would be way more hungry, perhaps, for a shot like this, who would probably be sat in the server practicing far more than what Olaf's putting in. But, um, you know, if, if, we're, if we're basing it off those first two rounds... Basing it off of how many people tried to enter the Phase 5 competition recently to get signed. Yeah. I mean, they signed as someone as young as a six-year-old, okay? Everybody wants to join Phase. Okay, so there's there's a there's there's some kid, you know, in his basement, drenched in his favorite monster or, or sorry, energy drink, and just thriving at the chance to yeah. be able to get on FaZe Clan, who's grinding who's grinding face it every single night. Right? He's waking up, he's living and breathing Counter Strike. Okay. Olaf. He's sitting in a pile of money. Yeah. Retired. Yeah. Probably not even watching the game, let's be honest. <laughs> Doesn't give a hell about Counter-Strike anymore. Because literally wants to get out of the stress, out of the competition, everything. Yeah, but you know I what? mean, he won the game. He's, lit he's literally one of the few people who's beat this game, okay? Sure. He's got a spot named after him on every single freaking map. He's got a graffiti. He has a graffiti. There's not much left for him to do. But you know him. what? Olaf is an analogy for every single Counter-Strike player in the world. Okay. Because no matter how hard you try to get away, yeah. you just can't get enough. Yeah, that's true. And you're always going to come crawling back. And when you do, you're going to get two digs in the second round, and you're going to feel like you're 16 years old again. And Olaf Meister, let's see what he has to deliver here. But it's Kierby and Brokey actually dying after getting a kill apiece because, again, we look to the hard fraggers of Big Clan, and our eyes are drawn to Xanteras and Searson. But Olaf's eyes are drawn through the smoke, and it seems he's susceptible to the digs. Dies out. Man advantage here for big. Oh, how the turntables. Rotation in towards B and Coldzera will try to look for some information. Tizian is tucked, okay? Like a quilted a blanket under the feet. He is not going to peek. I don't know how much he's showing. Just over towards the van a little bit. Cold jumps up, he might not spot this. But the attention is starting to come towards him. They turn the corner on Cat, and now it's three on one. Coldzera, what can you do? Whoop. Pops right up. Shuts Tizian down, goes for the shoulder, gets the information. Now he's calling for Rain to come on over. And he hears that bomb plan. Tabson putting it in for Catwalk with the scout. He's got his deagle out because he's close on cold. And even though the Galil hits the headshot, Rain's the player who has to finish this off. But he can't quite finish because Zanteras locks it down from Arch and gives Big Clan their second. He's got an AUG, which is really interesting. I wonder if he holds on to this or if somebody else would like to make the request. Hmm. He's like, I don't know that spray pattern. Somebody else grab it. Oh, AK's picked up. The clutch potential is high, of course, across all of phase. And in the 1VXs, you definitely don't need an IGL. So maybe we'll see some of the more impressive rounds in those situations, but... All right. Yeah, he actually is, is going to hang on to it. A couple of MAC-10s here bought for Tapson and Searson. They spread the map quite evenly. CT's on a full deco. Looking for any information that they can get. Coldzera up in the ladder room. This is something where I feel like he needed to spend more time in. Sometimes they're with FaZe, some of their B-site setups. There's been a lot of attention on it because their new newest player is always playing B now. Like B-Mass was playing B, Kirby's playing B. And Coldzera's been trying to play with them. But it feels like uh, he's been doing a lot of babysitting and sometimes his performances have dropped off. Mm. But we haven't seen him play as much inside the ladder room. And it's a pretty... You know, enormous, enormously strong position, to be honest. He can watch for window, under window, watch for the cat rotate. And if they play two in B, they can stop the B rushes. Plus, he can be useful to mid as well. Over on this A site, we've got Rain and Kierby. Kierby, of course, tucked under Palace. Molotov not going to fluster him. He's able to hold his position. And meanwhile, Tabson does find footing on Tetris. Rain softened, but still able to deliver a kill as Kierby does the exact same thing. He nearly lines up two more players, but here comes Brokey, pounding an extra shot through the smoke. Just a warning sign of what's to come. A round not yet won back to back for either team. It's a clash of the Force Wars. I'm so glad Olaf is back. It just seems like it's working out so well. I mean, it's such a great idea if you think about it. <laughs> How is this happening? So many one digs already. That's crazy. Well, we're going to get a buy-up in response. It's uh, Big Clan's money's been shattered. Luckily, they're on the T side. They don't have many expensive habits. Their Molotovs are a couple hundred bucks off. Yeah. And Tech Nine's oh so good. Tech Nine's, you know, better than a lot of guns that cost a lot more money. So they'll turn their attention towards the B site. Maybe look for something of a full B. We'll see. Keto's making a lot of noise, trying to bait out some Molotovs, some nades. And 
Yeah, they'll pull the pin on it, but he's also going to continue on with the execute. Olaf Meister gets caught falling back, and he gets info on Get Right. Oh, Santera's nice dink with the Tech Nine, but just not quite enough to push Cold off the edge. <gasps> they canceled. They did. But it's because Tapsin. Mm hmm. Oh, the jungle cat. He's looking for some enemies. Thing is, they've kind of circumvented him. Very clear, Brokey knows what's going on, and they've still got rain on ticket with a man advantage like this, knowing they're on pistols. They know, though. Yeah. They know. They, they know that's going to be the ticket guy. He's He has jungle control. They don't have to worry about that when they come out. Ooh. Ooh. Rain's able to chip off the head of Searson, throws the frag down deep, misses the mark, but now Tabson's closer, and he peeks into two CTs, so that spells disaster. Oh, and nothing further, in fact. So FaZe Clan bringing it back. They've got themselves the first two round wins in a row. I was thinking Nuke was a pretty mean pick for Big, right? A little bit rude. You're going to do this? Yeah. The team with How no practice, you. you're going to put them on Nuke? Yeah. Well, I mean, you just it, it's also, let's go back to the, you know, head-to-head. -head. Every series match, Nuke and Mirage, Nuke and Mirage. Yeah, Nuke, Nuke and Mirage, Nuke yeah. And Mirage. That's true. Yeah, it was coming. But it is still doing them dirty. I agree. Yeah, it's just tough. It's just tough. Speaking of dirty, this is a filthy... Filthy situation, big clan, just the Glocks. Ugh. Yeah, they went from that half by to absolutely nothing at all. Yep, so let's just watch as the kills should be easily collected. Bomb carrier is actually flirting outside of the B site, and there's a little bit of movement off of the bomb site, so will they slip this in? Keto trying to buy as much attention as possible, but it's all to no avail because Olaf's an anchor and FaZe Clan lead 4 2. I wonder. I wonder how much the recent situation affected everyone's results. Well, we saw Rain have this outstanding match versus Heroic on remember that overpass map where, oh, just multiple overtimes. So and good. We've seen a Rain like uh, like we haven't seen for years. And Cold Zero's, you know, his little his like stats graph that has been tapering off into an all-time lowest performance ever has started to pop back up a bit. You wonder if there's a little bit of surge of energy from, yeah. you know, the whole situation transpiring. A bit more motivation to bolster their resumes. Um, a bit more, like, a bit more of a wake-up call, where you kind of are in this probably salary circle of, like, event after event, same team, nothing really changing. But now, you kind of are confronted with all of these drastic changes on the horizon, knowing Nico leaves, for example, and thinking, well, now i got to think about myself. Certainly no comfort on FaZe Clan for the moment, but uh, they're getting loose in Cold Zera. Down he goes. Tabson coming up from Catwalk, the double entry. Kirby will find him through the smoke before the bomb's able to go down, but the plant's still successful, and that bomb plant in and of itself is enough to get the third round to the board for big. Four survivors on the T side, and three survivors for FaZe if they can manage to hang on to all of these guns as they hope to. They've actually done such a good job winning that Deagle round because they got the two Ecos. They have so much money left over. Even after losing this full-on rifle, they're in a pretty good spot, and Rain is still putting together some kills. So Big, can, big Clan will climb back a bit, but they don't have much money. They can't afford to lose another player in this exit. And I think FaZe actually want to punish that a little bit, so moving into a new position here top mid. But for the meantime, that's great. Taps in huge entries. Good cat split. Mm -hmm. I mean, bigger, pretty versatile Mirage, too. We're going to see as much B as A action. And a lot to do with mid. So easy for Tapson, though. I mean, just look. Walks up catwalk. He even had a player behind him. Yeah. If the trades were needed. I see a wild smooya in the background there. Props. Yeah, that was a... That, that was that was a little bit... Don't know why Cold, you know, Cold had his back turn the whole time. Just no info on mid. I mean... Yeah. We know FaZe don't really play mid that often. And early contact on apartments as well, right? Remember that first player who died was just running crazily like this. Tizian through the fire and the flames, yet to be slain. 36 HP remains, and there is his first kill. Doubles down, in fact, into Cold Zera. That was a very rude thing of Tizian to do, and it gets even worse for FaZe Clan, because he finds himself the triple. Oh, Tizian with the hops. Chain it. Yes. Hold on. There... It's not every day you see a Tizian ace, and he is, a, you know, a muted style player. He doesn't get a lot of highlight frags because he doesn't make a lot of plays like we just saw. Here's a chance for an ace. Come on now. Why not? Hang out a little bit. Put the gravy on it. This is about more than the game at this point. Uh, but let's be real. You know, while we were kind of taken aback by Tizian's shenanigans on that B site, Bomb was dropped here on Palace. 
Yeah, he just sold the best fake ever. Yeah. They tried to take both sides, but they really should have just followed Tizian. And he has given them the old wraparound, comes through Murder Hole soon enough to join forces with Xanteres. This is an awkward spot for FaZe, for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, as, as kind of as good as this looks for Big Clan, it's a really hard situation for FaZe to read because they don't know what Tizian wants to do. So now that they hunt him down, they'll know it's A. We can yeah. see the palace guy. Oh, Xanteres has a read around. on this. I think he'll know that a palace flank is going to come in. You gotta, He's got to anticipate it. He'll pick up another Molotov here. If he waits too long. See that? He's going back for another gunfight. Oh, man, if he had lost that, that's easily around for FaZe Clan. And it could Trace still be. Oh. But Xanteres oh. from the palace hits him between the eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're tied four rounds apiece. It's a couple of 1v1s here for Xanteres. We're going to relive that triple entry with the Galil here for Tizian. Great round. Such a, such an analogy for FaZe's problems uh, in recent times, where he's able to take down... You, oh, you over... Yeah. Had to see it. <laughs> okay, you saw it from... Just pure fear on his face. Yeah. Xanteris has that much power, he said. I had no idea. Were you watching that from Xanteris' perspective on your computer? Yeah. Okay, that's why you looked at me like you had just witnessed murder. Yeah. Quite literally. Cold Zera firing at the bottles. Kirby sitting inside the window. Of course, for Big Clan, three men top mid, two in apps. Mid smoke fades. Kirby just saw somebody reside back behind boxes, but that could be an anchor play from Tabson. Kirby. Oh. Yes. <laughs> no. Did he know that someone was top mid? Is that what you, did he see him? He saw the guy top mid. I okay, well, he just jumped backwards through the window, not assuming anyone would peek him mid. Oh. A little bit weird. Shooting at the walls, man. Kirby is losing his mind. Yeah. Poltergeists. <laughs> and, but Olaf's going ghost busting. He's pushing through the B halls. Searson on the flattest angle, flatter than the earth with this angle. Oh my god. Ready? Gets the close one. That immediately sends Cold Zera scrambling back slightly, Ooh. and he should have gone a little further. Hot shot. And then another headshot. This one chiming in is Tabson Brokey, the only answer so far for FaZe. But again, that's the bomb carrier, like the sickest B plays ever, and the bomb's just stranded in Palace. But Brokey, he's about to die. Ooh. He was supposed to. And Tabson getting that headshot. Just as Brokey's kind of wary of his flank. Sets him up well. Rain, eight and four. Good start to the game. Big Clan about to take the lead, five, four, unless he can pull off a crazy clutch, but he's got no diffuse kit, only a single flashbang, and he already knows that the moment he peeks this palace, he should be dead. Tabson, gonna come hunting. Who gets the headshot? It's Rain, and just like that, he's out of there. He knows he doesn't have too much more to do here. As said, Big Clan will find their fifth on the T side, Nonetheless, well, on the bright side, uh, we know that Phase Clan are great with Deagles. So next round, they'll power up. Big Clan will try to play it carefully and just make sure we get rain on the Deagle here, so they're at full strength. Perfect. Everybody dies. They'll spend a little bit of money. Big Clan take a lead. You know they've really only fumbled the game on the couple of rounds that they've lost. Yeah. They got absolutely shattered on their economy the second time around and lost two following. So we haven't seen FaZe Clan win one rifle round yet. Ouch. You know, so it will, I'm sure I'm sure it'll come, but um, we just haven't seen it quite yet. Ten rounds in, CT timeout will be called. They'll figure out what to do. You think they're calling Nico? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, is <laughs> it too late? Go on Zoom. Is it too late? Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is, of course, when you your IGL's gone, you still you, you, they can't you can't erase what you learned. So a lot of them will be able to have absorbed what they've learned with their setups. They keep most of their things, you know. And in terms of who is calling the strap at the beginning of the round, I mean, I don't think Nico was world-renowned in that regard. So mm -hmm. I'm sure they're, you know, with the smart minds that are on this team, they'll be able to put some stuff together. And of course, again, it is Mirage. Trailing 4-5 on the score line, FaZe Clan leading in the kill count, 35 to 27. Eight kills the difference. Yet one round lead for the other side of this. And, well, that kill count should absolutely dissipate here in the 10th round because it's USPs, a couple P250s, and that single deeg on Rain. Where's Rain at? 
Oh, he's playing up cat. Yeah. Come on, bang him. You know he's in there. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna stop shooting now, huh, Tizian? <laughs> But unfortunately for these pistol players, they are about to get mowed down. There's four here. Four CTs, good point. But with what? Minimal pistols. Olaf's going to be playing counter flash. Cold beneath the windowsill. The T's still yet to get out. Makito is going to try and stop out Cold Zera, who does get his paws on an AK, if not for only a moment. Olaf still hoping somebody comes from Catwalk, but that's not meant to be. Big Clan just holding off. And waiting out these smokes. The moment it fades, Olaf should be dead. Or not. He's able to get one single kill before getting clamped down upon by Searson. And now Kierby is just about damage. And you can check a, take a quick little look at the money here for Big. It's not perfect. Mm -hmm. One more kill would do great justice for FaZe. It would feel, it'd feel that much better. Yeah, majority deaths keep them at a deficit if they can. Um... What's interesting, I mean, we're seeing a lot of stacks in the, with the pistols in the B site, but even on the rifle rounds, they're playing up to 3B. Yep. And, part, you know, one round we've got Tizian with the triple entry. One round we've got Xanteras with the double entry. It's like Phaser Call and good setups, but they can't trade out effectively. So, yeah, if, if they continue to work badly together, it's kind of weird because oh. there's not a lot they can do besides adding more people to the issue, trying to just get more people involved to make sure you trade. But, you know, bigger, of course, is top team that have a plan to exploit B. It's going to be real real hard for them to coordinate, yep. especially with that having have been a problem for them on this map already. And if it becomes a problem, if FaZe Clan do end up finding a little bit of success here, more success in holding it off, then don't forget, this is Big's first plan. But they also come into each and every game with a second plan and a third plan, too. They've got backups yeah. upon backups. Our analysts... Singing their praise in terms of preparation. Nice little bit of movement from Xanteras. Baits out Brokey's op shot. And that's enough to get him to fall back. And he peeks right into Searson. Ah, it was a death sentence. That Xanteras peek and Keto gets that trade frag into Rain's face. A man advantage up for Big. They've left their bomb by ramp. We'll see if Tabson can further the success. A transition onto the catwalk that doesn't quite close because Cold is still standing. But as he goes for another peak, he nearly dies. Still 3v2. M4 is valuable. But Keto starting to warm up here. You know, I, I talked about the kill differential. It was really just Keto who was kind of trailing, as he does at times. And yet now he's found a good bit of success here in an important gun round. But Olaf on for the clutch. We're talking years of experience versus Xanteras, who's got his double flashbang and sits posted back by Firebox. Olaf has no clue where he could have gotten off to, but he oh. does tap out that bomb. No kit. So Olaf needs the kill fast enough to jump back upon the bomb. Xanteras oh. peeks and dies. And Olaf should have this. An excellent fifth round and a beautiful 1v3. I'm just glad to be a part of it, man. We just saw Olaf with the cleanest 1v3 so far. <laughs> wow. I'm shocked. I mean, maybe he was lying, right? That would be the ultimate Olaf play. I haven't touched the game in 10 months. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Get, keep your guard down. Peek me in the 1v3. <laughs> Try it. Meanwhile, this guy's been playing face of pugs all night oh. for the past year. <laughs> Damn, that's hype. Wow, that's actually amazing. Cool. And just like that, it uh, you, you know, know it gives him another chance. Something else that's interesting. So Bomb eye. No more Nico, right? Yes. Nico plays the star player position on this map. Yes. That's connector. Who's in that spot now? It's Kirby. Oh baby. And we talked about it. Uh oh, but just as we started to get excited. Kierby's the first man to die, and he's not alone. Rain and Cold following quickly thereafter, and now they're going to get the post plant they wanted. It's for Catwalk slash Connector. They've got two players deep in mid. Brokey's going to take a bit of damage as he does return the favor with a single frag, but this should be two rounds the advantage for Big Clan. So just, just as we start to get ourselves all nostalgic, Olaf's Clutch gives them economy, triple fomp, and it falls flat. Yeah. There's no money, there's no bonus, and Big Clan are going to lead by two. So this T-side's still absolutely in control, but a very nice reminder by Olaf that he's still got he's it. He's still got it. He's still got it, yeah, undeniably. Um, yeah, but uh, it, it's it's like, uh, you know, it's a gift and a curse. You win the clutch, but you actually only had one alive. You don't win the following round. Oh, it's real tough on you. 
monetarily. And yeah, big, small lead here. Quick ground out to just get those two trades uh, on the window and connector player. But yeah, interesting. Like, think about it like this, right? They're they're giving away a spot now. Like the prime position, whoever's in connector, probably getting the most frags, most impact, most highlight kills, most important. You trust that guy. Would, you know, Bimass would have had that spot? I don't think so. I don't, no. I don't think, you'd, you know, you'd give him that spot yet. You think he has the frag, he's the fragging potential for sure, yep. but not the experience. But it's cool to see them give the keys to Kirby in that sense, like to really trust him. Uh, and, you know, that's, it's seriously, it's, a, you know, it's probably most CT, important CT position on this map. They're also playing a lot more with mid as opposed to giving up mid entirely, which is something they did quite often <laughs> in what we can call previous, previous iterations of phase, yesterday's phase. <laughs> <laughs> Keto's going to walk out ramp, sees the head, can't quite knock it off its post. Tabs in close smoke, as is Kierby. Line him up, bud. Oh, it's actually Olaf from the base of Connector to come out with that AK, gets the 2K, tosses it over to Cold Zera, because Olaf's now low, but Kierby goes down alone, and Brokey's still yet to find an angle. An excellent recovery coming out of Big Clan. Olaf's here scratching his head like, damn it, I've got to do it all. <laughs> and he could still, or at least, maybe he will set up Brokey, who is still back by Connector, but I like this. Keto, he slips through the jungle smoke and finds Brokey mid-transition. Olaf, he stops that bomb. He's got three kills to his name already. As does Keto. Smoke goes down. Now that indicates the possibility of playing on the other side of it. Flash is going to miss the mark. Molly's instantly extinguished. I mean, if Olaf just has beautiful headshots right here, then, oh, he had a chance at the ace. But no, sir. Shut down and bested by Keto, who just now got himself right up there with the rest of his team. So just forget what I said about a slow start. Keto in absolute control, as is big. Eight rounds to five now. But this was the play. Olav at the base of connector. You know, he's sitting inside of window. He didn't see anything cat. He said, I'm going to go for it. And he absolutely finds the better of the timing. Crazy. Third one onto the bomb as well. Denies it. But obviously low HP. Difficult clutch to finish from there on out. Yeah. That was the only one to really have these uh, big impact rounds here on the CT side rifles. Yeah, the 1v3. The only rifle round they won. And then that's the closest they've come to another one. And yeah, we'll see this uh, kind of synergy here between Cold Zera and Olaf Meister looking over at B. Still a bit concerned about middle. Cold Zera got flanked holding out a grenade, I think, for his B player last time. So now that they've seen that the pace has changed, they're looking for what could be a mid default. And again, heavy presence from phase towards mid. This is just not something they do very often trying to kind of corral this heavy presence from Big. A little bit of this boils down to timing. Double Molotov inside of the ladder room, so completely countering where Cold could be, but the peak from Brokey misses the mark. Now, Tizian would have been within range to hear that footstep on the flames. Maybe he calls this out. Olaf is here to support Catwalk, but Catwalk's <laughs> not the problem. It's the A site that's under question round after round. And we've seen them plant for Connector as well quite often. Oh, it goes from bad to worse. Tizian and Searson with another kill apiece. I mean, this is nearly a flawless round coming out of big, and we're in the waning few moments of this first 15. Yeah, it was Tabby Cat that was the problem. Creeping up, creeping and crowling. Well, Brokey. Let's we'll see what you can do. A highlight reel. We'll snub out the C4 exploding here, so it looks like you're in some insane post plan on CT side. T side. Yeah. We'll change out your gloves and arm model. Put some dubs. Make it look top. like yeah, ridiculous hold. Maybe your CT <laughs> camp in the bomb. No scope. No, okay. Come on, two more. Ah, nice try. Is Tries an exit A still an ace? That's the big question. I think technically. Yeah, kind of. It feels like a 4K, but I think it it is it does count. All right, so one more, one more to go. Big. I mean, I feel like you know we had that wishy washy first five rounds where it felt like, are the individuals of phase truly going to be enough? Mm -hmm. But then we've seen big with just some really clean executes, really fast pace, almost like a suffocating pace to some of these starts, and uh, understandably, as per expectations, nobody here. On the blast squad had predicted the phase clan win. Olaf pass. Oh Oy. my god! Another? Dude. No. 
Shut down after two, but I'm not going to say... I don't get it. ...that those weren't beautiful. Good scout play in mid. Coldzera beneath the B apps could be enough to give FaZe Clan their sixth round. Is a sixth CT round possibly enough? Brokey's going to clamp down onto Tabson, so Xantera's in the 1v3. He has a 13 and 5 score line so far this half, and now he's in the post plant. He backs up. Has to be cautious as they're encroaching from all three directions and he never sees it coming. It is FaZe Clan with a sixth. Kierby gets that one and FaZe could have a chance here. Join us after the break to see what goes down. Phase, yeah. We wanted to write him off a little bit. We wanted to think Well, okay, hold out. on, hold on, hold on. Before we put on our rose-colored glasses, yes, yeah. Olaf was probably the only player on FaZe Clan who had impact on the rifle rounds. He had a 1v3. He had yep. an almost 1v5, or 1v3 with uh, an ace. He had another round where he got the two scout kills, and those are all the r rifle rounds that they won. Apart from that, they won two pistoling rounds and then two anti-ecos. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what's crazy is just how well Olaf is playing. As a whole, still up for debate. Okay. Well, good to know that's where we stand before the second half really gets rolling. But Keto, well, he got himself two headshots before dying himself. Tabson looking for his chance to strike, but Kierby coming back from Sandwich as it is FaZe Clan to close. I have no more questions. You know, FaZe Clan. I mean, no, I'm just kidding. They, let's see. We'll, we'll see what they bring on this on this T side. Now the. The big benefit is, of course, because they won an important round, they got the two anti-ecos. Yes. You know, they got themselves to a six-round half, so no matter how you dice it, we now, with a pistol, look at a position where they could be tied. It's not like we can sleep on um, Big Clan's CT side by any means, but, uh, well, they couldn't ask for more face Clan, so very excited to see how uh, Olaf is going to fill in on the T side now, what they've talked about, what they're changing, and also look at... Uh, Kirby's position, considering we saw him take the star player position on CT side. Mm -hmm. What an interesting, uh, what an interesting thing to happen this match. That's kind of the nicest thing about an unknown quantity, right? Uh, a literal day-old roster here in Phase. Yeah. Because you know, Col Colt could have been like, puff this chest up and sure. said, "Move over, kid. I'm taking connector." Yep. But he didn't. And I don't think anybody could have argued against it. Yeah. So, nice to see Kierby. But I think, you know what? This is because that even when Nico was still here, Kierby was slotting in successfully. Yeah. Right? We, we talked about it slightly beforehand. It also could be Kierby playing uh, playing it for North, but I can't, I can't actually say for sure. Not sure. Sure. Well, right now it's rain and cold, cutting down these pistol players at the A site. Another fight unfolding here on Catwalk. Leaves Keto wounded. And then dealt with five up for FaZe Clan. This is looking like an excellent T side start. Yeah, definitely. Oh, spread the map, grabbing the kills, not dropping on the Antico. Already in position here where Big One to try to save if possible. Good. And uh, Searson will try to hightail it. All, all their stats are a little bit strange because it's, we've seen some downturn in performance, like Tabson really has been dropping a lot. Mm -hmm. But just like very, very recently, we've seen a couple of good matches here and there for a lot of them, for Keto, for Tabson, for Searson as well. Searson still has show, so much more to show us in his career as a German opper, right? I mean, he is a prodigy. I, I think it, it's kind of insane how good he got how quickly. And what we saw from this spree when, when Big became the number one team in this online era, for what it's worth, you know, how Searson was outclassing other offers of a higher caliber yep. was absolutely unbelievable. Something you just don't see very often. And now we kind of come to expect it a little bit more, right? Like a, the, the red flags have been up a little bit longer, but man, when he was first out dueling those players, it was shocking stuff. He looked unstoppable. Mm-hmm. Uh, a bit of a dud nade here by FaZe, kind of thrown amidst their own ranks, but it's all right, full damage control. Double Galil AK versus Deagle and the MAC-10. But Keto with the Deeg has managed to slip into the A ramp. Unfortunately for him, Bomb circumvents this threat. Well, actually... Searson's in T-spawn, guys coming back from mid making a ton of sound. Kirby's never going to see this one coming. 
So that's one. Now he could go back middle. Oh no, he and the yeah, a, go or, back mid. Yeah, we've got the I'm sorry, the activity from the A ramp player is what I was looking at. And they're not gonna expect this timing. Oh, but Keto, he swings a little bit too wide. AK in position. It's Searson versus Cold as Rain's hands were occupied putting down Bomb. But now that it's planted, he throws a second Molly. Flash in the middle of it at all. Searson doesn't know what day of the week it is. And he's fallen to 35 HP. So clearly not ideal. But not over until he says so. Gonna go ahead and tuck tail. Give FaZe their ninth. And we're all tied up yet again. Close call. You know, you want to say Sears or Keto, could he have played that differently on the A ramp? And could he have laid back and waited? It's like, yes, yeah. so that doesn't necessarily mean that they'll win the round. So he probably smelled an opportunity. And also they walked all the way through Palace, so wasn't aware that they were both there. Could have been a different situation if he was. But that's why we have the shift key. So now after this two on one end to the round, lots of money here for FaZe Clan looking very healthy. They can all buy phase chains after this game. The amount of money they have left over. Brokey's going to pick up the op here on T-Side Mirage. We'll see how he works that. Mr. Hot Sauce himself, Mr. Searson, is also going to grab one for his CT position. Not a great spawn for him, though. Yeah, maybe just going to want to have to uh, float that one back a bit. We'll see. Not that there's any kind of a duel for him at the base of ramp. Two members of FaZe Clan working through Palace instead. This puts Keto in an interesting position. Oh boy. Yeah. Is he? Whoa. Too many heads all at the same time. Yeah. He was just, he, he just got peeled apart. Not that he did anything wrong, just wrong place at the wrong time. Rain gonna get flashed around the corners of the staircase. That's a blinded Searson, easy for the taking. Cold Zara gonna challenge out from Palace, perhaps. Not without a flash, which yet again is on the mark. So the team play here is working out excellently for FaZe, and they've gone ahead and steamrolled through the A site flawlessly once more. Brokey could have been the only death, but this is looking like five alive, because Big, they walk away. Double digits for FaZe first. Yeah, it was an awkward round, of course, because we see Kirito, you know, Kido, he's trying to follow one player, another peeks out. I think, from my perspective, in that, in that kind of setup, you probably want to have the two-man set up on the A ramp, so you can maintain control of it, and then either push it if you hear Palace, or be able to trade if Palace comes out and you want to fight. But if one person standing at A ramp falling back, we saw that there was a player on the other side of the smoke in A ramp as well. Keto's not really giving himself mm. a lot of room to breathe in that position. So in some sense, he's asking to to fight a losing battle. You know, if he goes for this opening kill on the A ramp, Cold Zero probably trades him on his way back, vice versa, wherever it is. So on the one hand, I'd like to see him get some help there if he's going to play there. Um, but on the other, if he's going to play there, maybe to try to play within the ramp and, and try to, you know, play a bit more passive and hold. Let's see what they do with this bit of a lead. Cold Zera already with another one. This time inside of the palace, and this time just dealing with the deagles. So no matter what he does, it shouldn't be too impressive. But it's the grunt work. It's the heavy lifting. It's the easy peasy pickups. They're gonna give FaZe some very real momentum. I mean, look at the cash they already have in the coffers. 9.2 on Rain, 7,000 on Olaf. The other guys are gonna benefit from this the most. But now we're talking about a FaZe Clan on 11 rounds, leading by two, with two or three buys in their back pocket. Now, Keto could dish out some damage before he goes down, but it seems he'll get that single kill versus Kierbi. And look at that cash. Fat stacks for FaZe. See if they can pull this off. Tizian had that 3k entry, but 9 kills in total. Not an amazing map so far. On the other hand, kill distribution for FaZe is tight. Yeah. 14 to 17. Everyone contributing. Every single player on FaZe is positive. Really makes you thunk. What if what if Olaf's back for good? Well, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, that it does it does seem like a commitment of some sort, right? I mean, I guess this is as long as he wants to play. That was the only real like if it was some kind of situation where he was just gonna play a couple games, you know, 
also brought up some other players. Whoa, Tabson. shot dropped by Keto. Mm -hmm. Luckily, Tapson was there to pick up somewhat of the pieces. Oh, Gap in the smoke almost cost him his life. He is still alive, however, barely standing. Rain's okay from CT spawn for now, but there's Searson's AWP finding a frag up on mid. So the only thing FaZe had going for them, other than the players on the site, was Olaf. He's now dead. Tabson so incredibly blind that he was looking into the wall on the wrong side. And because of that, it's an easy pickup for FaZe. With Rain getting an additional kill back by Ticket, you suddenly have a man advantage. And what is the trend from Big? The saves. Wow. They got pushed out of position. Yeah. Keto. He's getting owned. <laughs> he's getting owned. This time he tries a new spot. He's like, all right, I'm going to try something different. Not close A ramp, not with a rifle, not floating around. Give me the op. I mean, CT spawn. I know they're going to walk out. Yeah. I'm going to have a free shot. But he doesn't hit it. He wasn't even really blind, I don't think. I want to give him that. I don't think I can. When phase come through, keep it simple. Burst up the A ramp. Work. I I'll be honest. I can't wait for this desk. Sure. I can't wait for this desk. Yeah. I just want to know, I just want to see from all perspectives, like, what what do we take away from this? Such a, such an interesting game from so many angles, right? Um, like, how could anyone predict that Olaf could, after himself saying, I don't, I don't even play this game anymore, to come back? You know, of all of the players you could come, and as a stand-in, we were talking about, you know, other potential stand-ins, and there's yep. so many competent ones that you can consider, especially since FaZe are an international team. I mean, mm -hmm. borders are open, quite literally, right? So, um... Yeah, just so many different ways it could have gone. Plus the fact that they're playing on five days practice. I mean, I did, one day since the announcement. Not even five days practice. What am I saying? One. I don't even know. Like, we <laughs> where don't did even you get know. that number from? <laughs> I made up a number. It was somebody else. It was, okay, yeah, yeah. Bla uh, it was uh, another team. Freaking pimp, man. <laughs> it was God. probably... It had to be pimp. Just lying through his damn teeth. God, again. All right, listen. We talked about how Big Clan are supposed to be able to dismantle challenges like this one, but the individuals of FaZe have come to play this evening. All five of them, most notably, right? We thought, oh, maybe this would be a big breakout from Brokey. Maybe he'd take over the server after a little bit of time, but, yo, know, it's everybody putting up the frags here. Cold and Rain have gotten them so far thus in this round, and Searson answers with that AWP. It's not going to be a flawless one from FaZe, but it is still unfolding in their favor because the CTs are nowhere to be found on this A site. Dude, Big just keep falling back into save after save. Next thing you know, it's going to be FaZe on 15 rounds. But the bomb is actually yet to cross. Ooh, Rain picks up the headshot into Tizzy, and this puts Searson in an awkward position because he was just hoping to find someone attempting to plant on A. Santeras now has that task. Hmm. Is he oh, so blind? Yeah. Well, looks like he's going to have a, free, a few free duels here. Olaf and Cold only flashes. I mean, certainly one has CT written on it, but we'll see. Might be an opportunity here for Zantaris to show us what he can get. And never mind. He will just get smoked by Cold Zero. On the rotisserie is Zantaris. Turn it nice and slow. Sizzle the skin. Enjoy that. And, yeah, meanwhile, Searson got one. And so, could have been a two-on-two -two situation. But that goes awry. And Colzera puts three up on the board between him and Rain. They've got an ace. So, four rounds of difference. Now for FaZe Clan. A's looking nice. This is awesome. Let's keep focusing on A, I think, it, right? I mean, I'm not I'm not going to lie, man. We walked into this game thinking eh, it was kind of bleak, you know? Hey, we'll have a warm-up match here, you and I. Start the group off with maybe a bit of a fizzle out, but uh, and Brokey phase. starts laughing. Cold, you know, the whole off starts hitting one digs. But man, we've all been lied to. I feel like you, we felt it right from the get go. Right from the get go. When we saw Brokey, Brokey double, smiled. Yeah, double what? arm, like double, uh, double fist pumping. Yeah. I knew that. Where was that Latvian energy before? Something had clicked. Let's see if Searson can click back. He does get KRB, but that wasn't the only player on that smoke. Oh, he's so mad. Kier Brokey was just scoped in a yeah. little bit off to the left. Soon as he walks out, of course, Searson finds a lucky timing. So that's a fortunate opening, actually, because Brokey was holding that. So you want to give him credit there. Oh, second pickup from Searson. Of course he's going to take that and turn it into a mall. Yes. And he's still going. Third frag to the kill feed. Fourth one, potentially. 
fifth one, perhaps. Depends on the timing here with the peaks, but Bomb was retrieved. Coldzera initially dropping it. Searson flashed into the palace, hits the shot onto Olaf. Can't quite finish with the frag, but Xanteras is here to pick up those pieces. And just like that, round 23 is where Big will find their double digits. Still trailing by three. And still having to deal with the individual levels of FaZe Clan. But Searson, right place at the right time I think he almost, three times. Listen, I think he almost gets lucky on this round to not to not get off by Broki on that opening peak. So he doesn't know it, but that was a good start to for FaZe. Just a bit awkward on the bump with Kirby and Broki at top mid. And we could have seen a whole different round. So Big definitely have a lot to be scared of. Of course, they're going up against... All five of FaZe Clan before buying had over 10k as well. So, they got a lot of fat in the bone right now. They've got to chew through. Mm. Oh, that got you too excited. That was, that was supposed to be a bad thing. But now we're just thinking about stakes. Well, what's at stake? Big's pride? <laughs> How dare you come through with that pun. <laughs> Up on Searson, sniper for Brokey. Let's see if we get that fight back at mid. If it was down to Lady Luck, maybe she'll grace us yet again. Olaf's gonna take early damage as it is phase facing at B. And Tabson kind of playing inside of the ladder room. Zantara, as he hears this one coming a mile away. Now this could suddenly activate the players behind him, which would mean a concentrated hit on the B site. Tizian fully committed to holding this, but Tizian's having himself quite the rough game. 9 and 20, and he just lost his support. He does have a second CT back by Cat, but their attention's turned towards him, and Tizian, still yet to be found, is just blown away through smoke. Olaf attempting to peek for an additional kill, but Tabson will stop him there and then. And when do the rest arrive? That's the question. Brokey, seeing a player at a distance, knows there's another up close, but even with the grenade onto Kierby, the bomb plant comes through. Brokey's looking to lock it down. 2v2. No utility left for the T side. One kit, one frag here for big, but now it's only one player. Keto's gonna chuck out the utility, soften up Cold Zera, but he has to deal with the sniper, and he sees that barrel. He's gonna sneak underneath it, almost hitting the headshot, focusing on Cold, but dying out in the end, it's FaZe Clan with a 14th round. Hunter, that was such a wonderful round from FaZe from so many angles. They lose the opening kill coming up Cat. And then Brokey, he doesn't continue with the Cat split, right? It's it's called out of round. We're going to split B3-2. Brokey falls back with the off when his teammate dies and goes back to B halls. So all their protocols coming out of the B halls are predicated on Cat players coming up to help him out with some angles. So some smokes are missing, some flashes are missing. Brokey comes back to B-Halls, his teammates do all the work to change the round completely after he calls that, yeah. and then they still win. That's amazing. The fact that they're able to pull through that sticky situation, look what it nets them. Deagles out of big. This could be the 15th round secured for FaZe. Imagine that. In that first half, I wasn't t totally sold. When you contextualize the rounds, you know, one or two rifle rounds in total. But now we look at that, that last round, full on rifle, man disadvantage, you know, some great mid round rounding from whoever decided to calm what. Guessing Brokey. Ooh, timing Continued though. impact, opening up the A site. Now they're fending off match point and are doing a pretty good job of it. They've got the AK on, five players up. Yep. And we'll see. But can they keep Tabson away from this engagement on the A site? You know, he picks it up down an underpass. There's a player top mid that he duels versus. I mean, they have Kierby stuck in such an awkward spot. And now that he's dead, you're going to watch that AK in the hands of Tabson move rapidly into this A site. This is not a round big are supposed to have any footing in. And now they've gone ahead and grabbed a second AK-47. You have five members of Big Clan completely congregated in connector. And with the bomb planted on default, Rain has nowhere to go. Look at this, man. It is a firing squad. 
on the side of the staircase. And Brokey's sniper scope won't be able to flick fast enough, or will it? He takes down Zanteres. Tizian trades him. Coldzera's back on ramp, waiting for his time, but taps and connects it between the eyes, and Keto's a closer. Look at the damage that was output versus big. And yet they still succeed. 14 rounds to 11. Damn, they're so good. Just being a pressure cooker there in connector, putting so much emphasis on each angle, coming off of it, looking for fights, pulling players out of position, making them shoot, and then eventually exploding. Like a supernova from the stairs. And it's because of these great couple of pickoffs that make things really scary for Faith Clan, of course. They almost come through and pull it back. But yeah, that's as big can big plan surviving on a round they would have bought next. Mm -hmm. So we saw in the first half, they have the money now. They put it together. Plus they have leftover money. Woo. Game and on. And it's also Phase Clan to have given them a full loss bonus. Game on. And what a way to kick off the 26th. Headshot into Brokey through the smoke. Phase, dude, they were so ready to hit that A ramp. And if they were to just charge out that A ramp, I mean, there's no way they know this only Tabson in position to try and hold them back. Instead, they're gonna shift their attention towards the B site, which is currently held by four players and Searson's inside of the apartments. He goes underpass behind Olaf and he's gonna be able to escape. But because he saw that it was clear, we actually get Big moving out of position from the B site. This is awkward. Searson gonna spot them at the top of mid as he tries to retreat and what a treat it is. A second kill from Searson, but an answer back from Kierby on 100 HP in the 1v4. Only three kills to go. Wow. We're just suddenly entered into a different reality. Weird where, round. Where big can they can pick up a they can pick up a full eco and then turn around and just have like the best CP round of the whole map. Uh, they they look so good. Really really scary for for Faze to have to spend more money next round. Nice angle. Again, they don't have that loss bonus to fall back on. Three of four here to big clan. And FaZe Clan have enough, like, you know, for a full buy this time around. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, they're not even buying this time around. So we're talking 13-14. Should be. Uh, you know, maybe the maybe a little bit of pressure, you know, knowing the finish line is right there. Right. Exceeding expectations and all that. It's crazy, you know, if FaZe don't go top mid, but instead follow into apartments where Searson had just cleared out. Uh, I mean, B-Site was so clear for the taking. Let's see if that's where they decide to sink their teeth into this time. Ooh, that's neat. Oh my goodness. Oh, Full commitment with just the Tech 9's Deagle. Little to lose, lots to gain. Tizian has Olaf dead to rights, and he's got himself a second. But it's Xanteras and Tabson with the follow-up frags. Cold Zara's coming in from Catwalk. Completely known now, and he will get one. But it's one and done, and still a single round the difference. FaZe holding on to their lead. But for how much longer, if even? We all want to see it. We all want to see it. I'm just going to say it. It's going to be a hard series whether or not they win this map. But we all want to <laughs> at this point, you want to see FaZe finish, finish across the finish line. Uh, this has been great for them. But uh, two up set up. Big Clan, they got the crust out of their eyes. They're woken up. Morning coffee's in. 30 minutes into the match, the caffeine's flowing through the blood veins. Blood veins. <laughs> the <vein. laughs> Not the water veins, the blood veins. Wait, oh my god, Tabson, he had no idea that Kirby had walked into... He literally just moseyed so hard into connector. Oh. Searson claps back, yeah. and that's a lurker. Tizian will be a key component now. Interesting to try to spot Ooh. a lurk, but Kirby has made his way into the window, and he is nested, he is comfortable. There is a A split on the horizon, and it is looking very tasty. Yeah, Tizian seems aware of it, though. Xanteres was on high alert, but he didn't anticipate rain coming in from Connector. A two-pronged assault from FaZe Clan coming up onto the A site. Tizian, the timing, he just looks away. We've got FaZe knocking on the door of this A bomb site, but they're not sure who's home. This is redemption for Keto if he can, you know, put a round together here. He has Hell been yeah. failing over and over again on the A site, but they now he has an op. They don't want to retake, not with that sniper setup, not with the two snipers. They've got the utility for it, though. So Maybe if he can off. swap weapons, it's one thing. Searson, he should have just... Yeah, he saw the barrel. <gasps> oh, but Cold nearly checks in the... Oh, bomb! 
Bomb plants in the open, and Searson closes onto the head of Olaf. Rain's gonna cross inside of the smoke, gets one, but that's done. Big, tying at 14 rounds apiece. Round 29, wouldn't have it any other way. Let's do it. Oh my god. Didn't expect this match to be so good. What a flank there from Searson. Kills coming up on everybody. Funnily enough, all of FaZe are still positive. Olaf, 18 and 18. Everybody has tons of kills, though. It's really, you know, Keto, Tizian for big that have been some a tiny bit questionable. A couple of shots being missed here and there. But nothing else matters right now. Oh, tough here, FaZe. They're going all their eggs in this basket. Shells of an AK, two Galils for Brokey and Cold. And how how deep is how deep is the playbook right now? We've seen majority A execs that have been gone really well. Keto, he's putting himself out there. He's in front front triple. He's in danger if he misses. Oh, you talked about his redemption. He's gonna miss the first one. Suddenly he is in hot water. All around him, the bullets start flying, Olaf. and Olaf, he's connected too. Can Keto actually do this? Back in for second servings, misses the flick shot, and it's Kierby close on the smoke. Somebody's walking away with a 15th round, and it's looking like the FaZe Clan. Tizian, last man at bat for the CT side, and he goes down empty-handed. They've done it. It's overtime at least. For the roster, no one counted on. And I, they're smart. I mean, why not smile? This is the play. Olaf walks out of connector. Wow. And grabs the trade frag. Xanteris, one of the best refraggers in the game, goes down to Olaf, who hasn't touched it in months. Actually, Freya did us a very okay. solid favor. Yeah. She sent me a text message in the middle of all this. Yeah. She said that when she spoke to Olaf earlier, okay. he said he's been practicing with the team yeah. for the last two days. Two days, okay. So that's... I thought it was one day, snake. but two, yeah, yeah two. You know okay. Hmm. That's good. Two days of practice, huh? Is that all he needs? That's all, 48 hours? <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> it's LGB Olaf right here. Ah. Back in the day. Damn. With rain? It's crazy how much impact he's had as a rifler, just like on all the maps, sure. the development of the maps and stuff. It's yeah. crazy. I mean, he's just... just he is he is walking counter strike. You know history. what though? Flush into the exact same thing. He took like an entire like summer and a half off. Sure. Came back won his first tournament. Easy. All right, round thirty. Let's focus forward. I'm so happy we don't get some kind of like dismantled, dilapidated buy on either side. It's just a straight up gun round for either OT or Mirage in the back pocket of phase forcing Big Clan to have to try and reverse sweep the series. The opener here in the second group. Oh, Zanteres under pressure. Oh, but Rain gets cleared out by Tabson. He tries his damnedest to stay alive. However, Brokey on the sniper. This is looking like OT needed. Cold Zera comes crawling out from the hedges. And what can he do? 50 HP, 1v3, minute on the clock, no bomb. mistakes. What is the Kleenex commercial? <laughs> Nobody's going to give him a thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, if he, if he could slip around Catwalk and get the 1v1 on B site, oh, then he had a chance. But it is the slap from Searson, his 27th kill, to give it 15 all. Let's do it. Let's go overtime. I do feel bad. This is not the easiest thing to do when you're, you know, you just spend a whole map like trying out things, you know, if only, pra you know, two days practice and so on. But well, well, let's see. So it's already it's already amazing that FaZe got this far. We're going to take it into overtime now. FaZe had a, a really good T side to pull that back from six rounds, right? From six rounds. Tons of impact here uh, from Olaf, even on the T round. A couple of great entries in the final clutch moments of the game. And, uh, and yeah, some strats that were very interesting. Like l l thinking back to that Brokey round where he falls back off Cat and they continue on with the B exec. They have really threatened all parts of the map at one point or another. So I'm sure it won't be the last time they'll be able to add, have a lot of variety here on the T side. Whoa. Taps an opening and a heavy stack towards A. We've got a bit more support here for our boy Keto this time around. He is still splitting up his attention. Like there's not two players beside each other. And Olaf is in the smoke. I don't know if this is a good fight. We'll see how it works for him. 
Yeah, it's gonna about to get weird. Oh, oh. damn. Okay, he's fast. Oh, what? Well, when you can aim like that. Joey, I want a replay. Okay. Hot damn. Okay, big clan coming into overtime with a little bit of conviction. He's really risking it, though. In that position. A lot about tabs in here to control everything in this. They just kill. Not letting FaZe get into connector control and not letting him get away with any A ramp walkouts. Yep. They, they've not been doing a good job, of course, of stopping them of coming out the A ramp. So, get you know, getting your thumb on the problem where it hurts, I think, not not a bad idea. Yeah. So maybe doubling up next Stick time. Stick your thumb in the wound. Right. It's gonna get gross, but pour some Dr Pepper on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Really just gotta do. A little spit shine. Is he in? Almost through the smoke. Oh man, he gets a frag grenade on his face. Hmm, mid control taken here by FaZe. They're kind of sniffing out all these positions. A little awkward for Tabson. Both teams kind of mirrored one another, right? Tabson's inside of the ladder room and his opponent's on the other side, but the Mollies are going to burn him into the open. Or, no, he's found a safe haven. At least for now. Okay, listen, it was Olaf last round. Let's see what happens. But Keto is making his presence. I can't be floating so much. Oh my god, what is he asking for with this fight? I don't understand the way that he's playing this A-Ram. Well, Searson playing the triple stack, looking for more kills, has himself a second. Just saw a glimmer of Kierby on the catwalk, so he's ready and posted. But Kierby is able to take the head off of the player at the B site. Broke, he's got the bomb. He has to sprint. As quick as his little legs can take him, Kierby cutting off the first rotator, leaves Searson. The solo CT. And I mean, they know exactly where he is because he was instrumental to that A bomb site defense. I think he's capable, but FaZe have played this perfectly up until this point, of course. And Searson's going to make a jump here. Of course, he's yep. make it. No problem. Oh, yeah. Scared of heights. Oh, that's, bad. that's the walk of shame. Let's see. Kirby. Three kills. Searson zinging one by the bench. Brokey's posted, and it's perfect. Phase Clan 16 all. Nice round to bring it back. That was clean. Yeah. What'd you make of that A ramp fight? Dude, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is Keto doing yeah, every that's, round? That's what I was fishing for. I wasn't like, I wasn't, you know, trying not to be too negative, right? But uh, it was like, uh, he's always alone, number one. And at first, I was like, somebody should help him out. But. Now I'm starting to wonder if he's asking to be there by himself because he keeps doing the same thing. And yeah, he had one amazing round, but yep. some crazy aim involved, right? You don't want to put yourself in that spot every time. Uh, he's running, smoke's fading. That's not a... Oh my God, the flash is fantastic, but another one comes back the other way. Oh, Kierby trying to recover, but his spray not quite on point. Opera nearly dead now. Keto gives chase, and that is Lady Luck rearing her head to the delight of Big Clan. 4v2 turn, 4v1, it's done. Two CT rounds for Big. And what is FaZe's answer? Well, we'll find out. Two, two to win this game here for Big Clan. Now that we get past that. Dude, these top mid flashes. At first, both the CTs were blind, yeah. and then the terrorists were blind as they extended. And I still have to think that FaZe had the favorable fight. Uh, then this happened. Yeah, you know, no, like, the flashes were good for phase, right? The, the first ones, I think the um, those palm tree flashes are maybe yeah. the ones that caught keto. Yeah, but he wasn't full full blind, maybe. Sure. And we oh, we saw from his perspective. There were the flash assists, of course, in the eye. Yeah, but I feel like they're way too generous with those sometimes. Okay. I think they were uh, planning to be half blind. I just feel like a, a bit better aim on Kierby and he lines up those two players. True, true. I, I think. Uh, yeah. I think it is fair to say the T's go for mid control, the CT's go for mid control. You'd probably rather be a T. Sure. You know, you get the swing advantage, the high round advantage, whatever you want to call it. No cover to fall back on as a CT. But uh, when it's executed well, like we saw from from Big, they can make um, they can make the improbable possible, and, and they they do it with Keto as well, which is cool. They found a different way to utilize him early on. Ooh, what weird. a thing. He's not going to be able to fall back. We'll see if he can get the oh, mow down. Oh, my God. They're going to for oh, the run boost. Oh, oh, not even. Oh, not even. Just the peak, but that's the bomb. Kierby. Oh, my God. Tizian's just, your Tabson rather, gifting it to him, you'd think. Keto comes out, saves the day. 
for now. Zantara is trying to challenge out from Palace, is bested by Brokey, and what's the move, Big? They're gonna shift their feet entirely towards the A site. And they're not wasting time. Yeah, they started walking, but... A bit too late? A bit late. I don't know if they heard this. Crucial Who, fight. Who's Crucial coming? fight. And Tapson so incredibly low that now Rain, I mean, he is going to be a thorn in the side of Big. They are still able to find their entry, but their attention has to be turned towards Palace. That's going to be such a problem for them. How else do they get out of this spot? They could challenge inwards where Olaf is holding with his op, and sure enough, it's now down to only Tizian. He is so surrounded, able to best the Wait player on the ticket, but there's Wait. Olaf to close. Oh. 17 rounds each, anybody's first map. That was close. He got the hard kill, the one they didn't know about, but he knew about Palace. He could have outplayed Rain, and Olaf was too far away. There was a, a chance there. It was slim. You know, Palace is a really strong spot to be in for that position, but there was a chance that oh, Palace didn't even peak, leaving Olaf in a 1v1 for how far he was away. So what is that insane shot as well? One you could only see with X-Ray. Holy smokes, Olaf. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, indeed. Oh, massive gap, man. Just just trying to give Brokey a chance at an opening kill. But alas, he falls back empty-handed. Let's see what they're thinking. Kirby's on cat this time around. Mm -hmm. Back to where we know he's so good at holding this window, basically, with an AUG. Olaf takes substantial damage. Taps and he's headhunting. God, look at the map control Big have. They are everywhere. And yet nowhere, all at the same time. FaZe not sure what exactly is about to come their way. Really just about Cold Zero to catch Lurks. He can spot them off Cat. Brokey gets an opening kill too, and there's gonna be now yep. pay attention yep, to both close. Movements he's here. close. Keto up in his face gets the trade. Rain's position unbeknownst to big. And they're gonna move that bomb in. Cold Zera, he gets his headshot versus Searson, but there's the saving grace. And for now, CT is open. That bomb plant could be everything. A 3v3 in the post. Quadruple flashbang for FaZe. First one thrown out. Peek from Olaf nets them nothing. It's deeper positions coming in from Big. They've got one in Sandwich, one on Tetris, and a third player back on ramp. Layers upon layers. And the first slayer is Keto. Now Cold Zera's trying to peek wide. He knows he's on triple, but they still don't know about the other two. Here comes Zantares and Tizian both with a headshot each. A great hold. I Big mean, they... 18. 18. One more, and they close this out no matter what happened to regulation. All the rough rounds, they've looked stronger in OT. Nice kill and post here from Keto, as well as an opening to get onto the A site. As you mentioned, so much map control for FaZe Clan to fight against without even really knowing it. They had a three-pronged assault from Connector, Palace, and A ramp. And I think Cold played his position well, got one of the frags in Connector, but by that time, it was a bit too late. Will Big pick up one more T round in a row, or will we see FaZe Clan take this to a second overtime? We're gonna find out pretty quickly. Hell yeah, we will. Big Clan just wasting no time. Gearing up for the A hit. One player already out from Palace. FaZe trying to challenge on the side of these smokes, but they've lost their vision. And because of the deeper smokes, you'd think they'd find nothing. Kierby still able to get one rain. He's got a gap, but keto has got the frag. What a turnaround from Keto. He started this map so slow. Wait a second. They're pushing through to stop this plant, Ooh, and they oh, will. it works! Coldzera's got himself the double. It's a man advantage back for FaZe, but there is still Searson coming in slowly from mid, and they're gonna have two members of FaZe pinched in Connector. Oh my god. The bomb can actually fall back. <gasps> he gives him timing. his back! Searson, he doesn't know there's a second player in front of Connector. How carefully- oh. oh my god, he grabs that! Now it's all on Brokey. He's gonna move his sniper into the site. Oh. Searson with the 3k! That late lurk through mid! Whoa. It's enough to get map one in the back pocket of big. FaZe trying their damnedest in a series we expected to fizzle out and oh baby what a first map that delivered i mean listen we all had reservations